SR71 with one of the worst pop punk songs ever written. But that's okay. We can move past this moment and all cringe together. Hey, speaking of cringe <laughs> or based, I went out to dinner with John Curley and his lovely wife last night. And because uh, John, I love John Curley. I'm a big fan of John Curley. John and I have been friends for many, many years. And so we go to uh, a place that's right near the station. We go to this like fish restaurant and it's, it waits like an hour. So okay. we're not going to go there. So John says, why don't we go to Daniel's, the broiler place? Oh, yeah. And so I, I go, okay, because I don't, you know what yeah. I mean? I've never been to Daniel's. Oh, I, wow. I just know it's a steak place, right? It's a nice place. So John calls, I don't, I don't know this at the time, but John calls Daniel's in advance, and he lets them know that it's my birthday in heavy quotation marks. Okay. <laughs> so, so I have no idea. And when we walk into Daniel's, uh, he, they, he made a reservation. We, we sit outside on the patio, and they say, they say, Happy birthday, Mr. Stein. And I say, Oh, thank you, John. I appreciate it. You know, the, the wait staff. Yeah, oh, happy yeah. birthday. How old are you? Blah, blah, blah. I go, I'm 25. They go, Ha, ha, ha. Because obviously I'm not 25. And then, uh, Spike, I pick up the menu, and I'm looking at the menu for Daniel's, and I am filled with nothing but fear. I am filled with the most. The, the most because it's we're talking it's like hundred dollar steaks, hundred and forty dollar wagyu, got like sixty dollar salmon plates. Oh yeah, we, you know we're talking fourteen dollar sides of broccoli. We're talking truffle sauces. We're talking lobster mashed potatoes. We're talking lobster mashed Daniels not to be missed though, buddy. We, we are talking about expensive and uh, you know John Curley is John John's got money. I've got money. Do I have uh, $92 ribeye money? Yes. But the question is, is that do I want to spend $92 on a ribeye? But I, I, and now keep in mind, I invited John and his lovely wife out to dinner. Okay. Right. So okay. This, I'm assuming that this is on, on me, Yeah. which I'm not, I'm not, you know, I'll, I'll foot a bill to hang out with John Curley. Well, plus, and if I may, I'm assuming you're, you're seeking the guidance of a wiser a more more seasoned broadcast veteran. No, somewhat of a mentor. No, no? I just make fun of him. Oh, I just, okay. Fine. I just, I, <laughs> spend, let him have the I just love to rip into John. It's my favorite thing to do. I make, especially in front of his wife. Oh man, do I love making fun of John? So okay, <laughs> uh, John says as we sit down, he says, "Get whatever you want. Don't worry about it." And now I'm like, okay, well, now it's even more awkward because okay. do I everything that is here on this menu is unbelievably expensive it is you know what i mean it's this is a very expensive restaurant yeah it is the the bad steaks the worst steak the chopped sirloin which by the way is not available at daniel's i'm joking here <laughs> um the, the least expensive cut of meat on daniel's menu is 80 bucks yes yeah and that's that's where you start you can go up to two bones for a nice wagyu Filet, right. uh, you know, Did Japanese you wagyu. you see the Japanese wagyu That's what I'm there? looking at. The oh, yeah. A5 oh, yeah. on there? Oh, yeah, and That was on the menu. That's $200, yeah, so right? That's, yeah, that's what I'm talking. So I, and then when you order one to go because you're staying in a hotel, you right. know, yeah, that's right. doubling your bill. So I do this math in my mind where I go, if I get the ribeye, that's mm -hmm. 32 ounces, mm. which I can easily put down. Sure. Easily. But sure. then I go, I'll split it with John and his lovely wife, Nick, and, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll all okay. move on with our lives. The thing that I'm going to ask people, though, is that when you're at that restaurant mm -hmm. and you do you do you, I could have gone appetizers only. I could have said, I'm not hungry. No, sure. thank yes. you. Yes. Yeah. But yeah. I was starving. I was 32 ounce ribeye starving. Nice. But it's a ninety two dollar cut of meat, which, mm. by the way, they it, it, amazing. Can I just say that worth every penny of, John, of, your mouth. of John's yeah. money and worth, perfectly prepared. Right. <laughs> Perfectly Perfect. prepared. Yeah. Butter. And so then they bring oh, yeah. me the, the, I get the steak and the broccoli, no potatoes because I'm, I'm watching my weight. You know, I'm going to be a yeah. bridesmaid soon. And, but the thing that I'm asking people if this is cringe or not, should I have gone for something cheaper on the menu? Now, the next thing that's cheaper is eight, the $80 steak, but should I have, or should I have gone for the appetizer? Should, I mean, Chris, what would you have done in this circumstance? John Curley invites you out. It's him and his lovely wife. You're eating at one of the nicest restaurants in South Lake Union. I would have followed their lead. If they got an appetizer, I'd get one. And right. I'd get something right in the middle. Something that I wanted, but I wouldn't get the cheapest thing. I'd get what, what looked good. Okay, because I didn't want to go the cheapest thing because I, I, you know, I don't want to. I, I, I felt yeah. weird about that. And then, Andrew, did I do the right thing with this? Did I, getting the 32-ounce, $92 <laughs> ribeye? 
Yeah, I think that, that that's that's a good call. Okay. I think. Did, you don't want to you don't want to you, you know don't bang him out. Give me a wagyu sampler. You, yeah, I'm gonna have you that. You also and, weren't uh, drinking. That's what kills bills when you have okay. a couple yeah, of drinks. I was, gonna, I was gonna get to that. I, yeah, I was not drinking. Right. I did I did order the Pellegrino with a little bit of lemon, and that's you know. That's, now, now, if I may ask, yes, John, and yeah. I've, I've met John's lovely bride once, but we've never so, we've never socialized. She is a, a a hilarious, wonderful storyteller, very engaging, wonderful dinner partner. I would think she would have to be to be a partner with someone like John Curley. Oh like, yeah. Cu couples have to be on even footing when there's somebody as somebody as dynamic as John is. And we all know that's that's truly the case. Yes. I'm glad to hear that his wife is as equal. Yes. Um did Did you offer to split the bill? He wouldn't I let did. you, of course. I did. I said, John, may I may I may at least split, can may we split I this Venmo at least? you for yeah. the hundred dollar piece yeah. of meat that I just got. And you know what he said? He goes, Buddy. <laughs> he starts laughing at me. <laughs> so, you know what? Uh, here's here's what I, if I would have done if it were me, because I, I will never be invited out with John. You know, when you when you get a nice steak like that, you can get things like, uh, you know, a, a Bernay sauce on top. Yeah, right. A nice peppercorn brandy sauce. Right. I tell the waiter, you know, I'm I'm a big fan of the of, the, of your peppercorn brandy sauce. Can I get just that without the steak? It's only eight bucks. I'm saving John a ton of money. <laughs> just give me a side of brandy sauce and one just a, the side of broccoli. I'll have the broccoli and. I'm a vegan by nature. Right, yeah. right. I felt a little cringe is the thing, is well, I felt a little bad about, about it's, it. It's tough to be invited out with somebody, and then when you go to one of the most, uh, the priciest joints in town, right. it's tough yeah. to eat and feel good about it, like you're not beating somebody over the club and taking his wallet when you yeah. get, but I'm sure he he reveled in the pleasure of showing you a, a, some of the best time Seattle has to offer. And he did, he you know? did. And also, that, I will say this, act. before we gotta get out of here, John, when John walks into a restaurant, he's like Jimmy Conway. From oh yeah, Good, from from Goodfellas. He's saying Why hi. Why are you going in through the kitchen? You don't get a room. He's 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 saying <laughs> hi to everybody. Yeah, he's yeah. talking to everybody. He's the most charismatic guy on the planet. And uh, thank you, John, for taking me out to a lovely dinner with your lovely wife.